I have a lot of capes here. I've got Stevix SC, the skin that's selected for this. You can ignore the skin selection. I'm talking about capes today because there is a certain leak that people are talking about a lot on social media. For good reason, I think there is a little bit of a strange dilemma going on in the Moyang marketing department or whoever's responsible for this. I'm not one who really cares about cape collection. I know a lot of you guys are. I've only got six capes here. I used to have only one for like five to 10 years. And now I've got the vanilla cape, cherry blossom, purple heart, migrator followers. The migrator cape came out in 2021 with the account migration. So this is almost a forced cape for most people. The vanilla cape was a year later, which was given to most people who had both editions of the game before Moyang decided to sell them together. It's an ordinary cape, nothing particularly ravishing about it. The cherry blossom cape was for Minecraft Live last year. And then we had a lot of capes this year. We have the purple heart cape, which was the Twitch cape that occurred on Twitch about a couple of months ago. We needed to subscribe to a Twitch user. This was a fantastic cross promotion for Twitch streamers like myself, but this a lot of people adored. Not too many complaints about this one. The followers cape was also very similar, but this year there have already been a lot of capes released. There's a clear devaluing of capes, but that's not really the point that I'm trying to make. This is the Minecraft.net redeem page. So if you go and scroll down, you can see that you can redeem Java Edition, Bedrock Edition, Legends, Realms, all the other games that you can, oh, mine coins. So this is where you sort of redeem your in-game currencies or assets. It's a popular page. However, something was, surprise, surprise, leaked at the bottom of this page yesterday. They've since removed it. You can see that there's, there used to be one block here on this web page. It's missing because they got rid of it. So we can just use the Wayback Machine. Clear rise in user interest when it comes to the Wayback Machine because this is a fantastic tool you want to try to find things that were missing. So this is the redeem page. I'm not sure why there are a lot of things in May. Okay, so we can go to November and this was yesterday. So we just click on November 25 and it comes up with this. There's a reason why this is being talked about everywhere. The page is exactly the same. It is identical to what I showed you before, but there is one additional redeem code here. Redeem your buy a cape Get a cape. Collect your eye blossom cape for purchasing a creeper cape by entering the code here. This is not available right now, or they've maybe just announced it by mistake, but this is going to be something that we'll have to expect very soon. This would mark the very first time Moyang are selling a cape directly. I've got this infographic here from Tio Meeks on r slash Minecraft. It's a bit outdated. We're missing one cape here. Oh, it's the Minecraft experience one. It's the villager one. So we've got five capes here. This will be the sixth cape they're releasing in 2024. It's never been done before. The most that's ever been released was 2016, but this was the Minecraft Realms one. So this is what map make is. And this is the Minecon one. Every single year has seen one cape released. This year, they are about to release their sixth one if this indeed is a true leak. So it's important to know all these capes have been tied to an experience or an event, some sort of promotional event. Even all of these have been sort of promotional events as well. Some people are labeling it pay to win. I'm not going to use that label because I don't feel like it's winning to have a cape. It's just a cosmetic. It doesn't give you an advantage in the game. If you don't want it, don't get it. But it is a radical paradigm shift. It's certainly very odd. Now, that's not the last of it. So <laughs> this is a buy a cape, get a cape redeem code. You'd think that the cape that you have to buy to get this one will be similar in design to that cape. Well, no. This is for purchasing a creeper cape. First of all, where's the connection between a creeper cape and the eye blossom cape, which is fundamentally related to the winter drop? Why haven't they simply promoted the eye blossom cape for the winter drop, which is going to be sometime next week? Have they not planned anything out for that? What's even more suspect about this is if you look at what the creeper cape actually is. It is a physical item in the Minecraft store. Here it is, Minecraft creeper adult cape. There's no tie-in to the winter drop cape anywhere here. It's just this thing. <laughs> I don't... I mean... <laughs> Say what you will, I don't see many people actually buying this unless it's for Halloween. So it's, it's certainly a very seasonal product. It's an adult cape. The kids one, I think, is down here. So there's, that's different. I believe it's this one that they're going to be using to connect to the eye blossom cape. Made from durable, lightweight material, it's easy to wear and comfortable for long-term use. Got a Velcro attachment uh, here. This makes it the very first properly paid cape without any promotional event attached to it. It's 27 USD. 
So in Australian dollars, it's about 40 plus shipping. I don't know, it's probably about 45, $50. You can definitely toss around some theories as to why you think they're doing this. Some theories are that they didn't sell well at all. So now they need to get rid of this stock somehow. And by doing that, they're making another cape. Marketing strategy, I think it's kind of tacky. The worst bit of it is that it's not even related at all to the winter drop. So the only way you can get this cape is by buying this physical cape. Whether you want to push back on it is entirely up to you. Whether it's going to work at all is entirely up to you. Whether this is even real is entirely up to you as well. I think it is real. There's no way they would even create this asset file for the website if they weren't thinking about this seriously. I just managed to find the r slash Phoenix SE host for this. Certainly very controversial, very divisive. Maybe about 70% of you guys aren't happy at all about this. I think the one big disappointment is that there's no other way to get this cape. It's a nice cape that is going to be connected to something that doesn't look very nice. Is it made of nylon? Some sort of plastic? I don't know. Redeemed by January 31st, 2025. It's a good chance it's going to be out pretty soon if this is legitimate. It's another leak. God, this is like expected from them at this point.